It's 100 Gex meets Jethro Tull. Therapy is the second full-length album from artist, producer, mix engineer, basically the underground's very own renaissance man, Polearm. He's been putting out work into the scene consistently over the past three years, including lo-fi production as Halberd, mixing and producing tracks for fellow artists, even his own solo music. His discography before the album, though, feels a lot more in line with where the scene is sonically. Songs like Burberry Sweater, White Jewels, in addition to his debut project, If You're Ever In Need, yeah, I'm feeling good, yeah, I'm feeling great. Check soon. Everything up until this point felt like it had already defined who Polearm was and what he made. That all changed when he dropped the single, Kombucha. With its heavily doctored vocals and deliberate beat selection, effectively breaking out of the mold he had created for himself, the track helped to pave the way for the distinct and individual sounds that he introduces on this new project. Yeah, I guess like finding myself again because like I, I lost confidence in my voice. I like I like was recording a lot like before I moved out and I was like I don't like how my voice sounds anymore. I was like nothing I make sounds good and then I like made something and I was fucking around and I night recorded and I was like this is fire. It's like this is really sick and I started doing that for everything I made because it was a way to get away to like. It was a way to make myself not sound like myself. Was that about the time you dropped a kombucha? Yeah, that was the first track I did it for. I made that. I made that in. I finished recording that in Bisquick's bedroom, uh, because he was cleaning the living room because Aries was coming over because they were gonna rehearse for their tour. So I made that in. I made that in uh, Tim's bedroom. <laughs> but yeah, that was the first song I did that for, and then I just. I just kept with it, and it just sounds really sick, and I love it. It's, it's it's like I've incorporated into my creative process as well. It's it's so fun, just like speeding up and slowing down songs, and like resampling things, and like re. I I love reusing things, and um, I think making myself not sound like myself helped me break out of my shell and like just explore new sounds and just try new things, and the album was just like the, the fruits of my labor, really. In recent years, it feels like albums may have lost that feeling of being a cohesive and concise piece of self-expression. Something deliberate, yet a very clear vision. Many albums today just feel like they're simply a collection of singles compiled into a project. Therapy, on the other hand, feels like an odyssey in comparison, with only 12 tracks, each of which only clocking into one minute each, no more, no less. The project has a very clear artistic vision, something very commendable in today's current scene. The best way to describe it is something akin to an underground Jethro Tull. This is extremely apparent from the first three tracks. And everything I need must be listened to right after the other to enjoy the full experience. Just like how Tull created Thick as a Brick to be a seamless experience before it, these tracks feel interconnected while maintaining individual identity. In my opinion, the standout track from the bunch is Pit. The song not only has some of the craziest energy on the entire project, it also has some of the most interesting lyrics. Touching on topics such as his distaste with artists getting comfortable in their positions, opting to stay where they are rather than grow. Following that opening trilogy, we have 20 Missed Calls, which was the first single released in the lead up to the project, complete with its own music video directed, shot, and edited all by Polearm. While it does move away from the previous three songs and its beat selection, in a way it feels somewhat disconnected, though it makes up for it by faithfully keeping with the tone and serves to shake up the runtime to introduce new sounds and ideas that are going to be built upon later in the project. The tracks that fall into the middle of the project, like Limerence, To the Bottom, and Afraid of You do an incredible job of building upon what was left for them. 
They all add to the album's sound in their own individual ways, while staying on point to create a cohesive listening experience. To the Bottom takes very little to create an extremely enjoyable listening experience. It stays very predictable throughout its runtime, but that is in no way a negative thing. The track's only lyrics are... This does a great job demonstrating Polearm's ability to create individual sounding songs with very little to actually work with, as well as staying within the confines of strictly one minute tracks. What went into uh, To The Bottom off Therapy? I heard Click by Charlie XCX. Hmm. And um, it was just like the way that the drums were arranged and that they were very like industrial, like very spaced out. And um, that, like, I don't know. That one, that one was kind of before I started like scrapbooking like that. That one sort of just kind of like spit itself out on us. And I heard click, and then I, um, I heard this like really old like, I don't know, I think it was like this really old um, Tracy song or something, and it had like a siren sound. And I was like, okay, like what if I try like a siren sound? And it was just and so it, like in the song, it's just the and I just put the drums over it, and then the bass, and like that was it. I like didn't. Because cl in Click, like, the instrumental is very, like, sparse, and I wanted to, like, try using as little sounds as possible, and, like, that's what happened. Mm -hmm. And then everything on, like, everything on that track is, like, stereo pan and spaced the fuck out. It, like, sounds insane, but, like, yeah, no, Click by Charlie XCX. Drop Dead Interlude serves as a much-needed break, feeling way faster than anything else in the project. It leaves the energy of songs like Pit and Afraid of You behind, favoring the softer sounds of songs like Worth It to close out the rest of the project. <laughs> Coming right after Drop Dead Interlude is the track Features, another one released as a single. It draws upon the emotions to create a light and dreamy feeling in the listener. Polearm's vocal delivery is soft yet deliberate. He sings about longing for someone he just can't forget. The album closes off with its namesake song, Therapy. Dropping the auto-tune, vocal effects, and heavy production, if only just for six seconds, with an opening monologue right before the beat kicks in and the song starts to come together. I got a lot to say, but also... It's one of the most vocally clear songs on the entire project, drawing upon almost everything that he had been building up to this point, with several lyrical callbacks to previous songs, such as 20 Missed Calls and Worth It, these connections really play a large part in tying the entire project together. All in all, Therapy is a genuinely beautiful experience. It's truly one of the most enjoyable and coherent albums to come out of the underground scene in a long time. Polearm's decision to cap off each track at one minute creates a fresh and unique dynamic to the project. Everything in it builds upon what came before it, leaving absolutely no room for unnecessary tracks. While it's too early into 2020 to say anything about the best projects of the year, therapy should absolutely under no circumstance be left out of that discussion when the time comes. Tell you that I'm feeling alright I swear there been times you kept me up the whole night I know you lose a fight but I can catch a flight